Yo, what's up, everybody? I am Thomas Dopaziola, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. I am here with my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? What up? What up? What's let's up? get let's get straight into this. <laughs> let's get right into this. Today, I'm guys. Sure we're good, man. Let's go. You guys, come on. I, I understand messaging me man. thousands of times. Hey, 10,000 times. Thousands my of times. DMs, nigga. What? This is the DJ Ghost episode, all right? Yeah, Welcome. Yeah. Thank you for what's being up, here. bro? Appreciate it. Appreciate hey, it. Mad early, too. Mad early. Mad you gotta early. be on time, man, bro. You, you gotta be on time. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. I know I told you, what was this, four months ago, three months ago? I don't remember. How long was we supposed long to do time. this? Long yeah, time. and shit kept coming up. You know, I live all the way in Vegas, so. It's, it, it's yeah, no it rush. Beca- yeah, it becomes It's better that you, you, you hit us up like, yeah, I'll be there. Let's do it. Yeah, right, More than right, just like, right. yo, hurry up, motherfucker. I'm not That's why that. when I hit you on Tuesday, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna be out there for sure. Yeah. I got a little run and do so. And you're about to take off right, right out of the Texas, right? Yeah, I'm out of here in two hours. So I appreciate Marty you being here, hours. man. Yeah, so. Marty, I'm going to start this up a little bit early. Let's do I'm it. I'm going to start this up a Yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. No, this is a celebration episode. Oh, fire, right? OG. That's it. Nothing else. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no, Nothing else. I'm an OG smoker, right. bro. I that's did, it. I didn't Nothing know. Else. I, didn't, I didn't know if you were only. That's all. That's it. That's the test. That's Marty, the test. Marty, it's the Skittles. All right. Hold on, hold right on. Yolo, you mean it, you only smoke You only smoke papers? Only smoke OG. Hold on. I'm talking about papers. You only smoke papers? You don't smoke no backwoods, no wow. swishers, no frontal leaves, no gravels. Is no that nothing. all you? Oh man, I need me a gravel or something. This you got any? Uh, the homie got some. If you got some, I got weed. The homie, hey, yeah, bro, go ahead and roll that up for him. I, hey, I, let me I, tell you what it is. What? Why you? Why you smoke papers? Why you smoke papers? I used to smoke blunts only, swishers uh-huh. and shit. And like at, at like twenty two, I was smoking so many packs. I switched up to papers one day and went. <sighs> oh yeah, breathe a little better, man. And that I think, was that's what got me. With the weed, bro, I think it just like that shit be seeming too fresh when it's up in the papers. You know what I'm saying? Really? I love it. It's pure. You could taste it. Oh, it's just but the head change. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I think I'm addicted to the tobacco that's in the leaf. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I have homies that only because, smoke backwards. Yeah, bro. I think I'm addicted to the tobacco that's in that. You ever smoke spliffs? A little bit of tobacco in your joint? Oh, no. that's the hell. No. Oh no. You so long. So what they do? Like in England, like what they do is they roll weed half weed. Hold half on, tobacco. New York niggas be talking about spliff too. Yeah, half weed, half tobacco. It's because in New York, and uh, that's what the, that's stretch it's, weed. It's hard to smoke. Hey, hey, it's hard you to heard weed. what they said? Yeah. He said they do what? You you break do down tobacco. the blunt. They do, do half tobacco in your weed, uh-huh. and half you know half weed, half tobacco in your joint. That's what they do in England. And it's that's hard the thing? to get weed, or they put hash in it. Yeah, it's hard to get weed out there. That's so crazy. Put hash on tobacco. That's it's like the same crazy, little addiction, bro. man. It's like the same like that's still a thing today. I know hella fools that only smoke spliffs. Damn. I won't smoke it. I won't smoke that. No, shit. I ain't gonna smoke it. Man. Well, it's like I'm smoking if I'm smoking it to uh, a leaf, huh? Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. If, if yeah. for sure. You got a lighter and an ashtray right next to you, too. Oh, y'all dope up in here, yeah, bro. You're ready. We're ready. You got to my go. shit up on the screen over there and some more shit. And We're ready. That's We're ready. Dope. That's dope. All right, real quick. What's up? First time I ever heard about you. Let's drop this real quick. It was two, three, no, three years ago, I think. Three years. And I saw, I'm like, yo, this fool just reacting. The video's getting hot. All right. And I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know when I watch YouTube, I watch fights and I get off. Man, I don't right. watch anything else. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm smoking weed in the background of work. I'm like, damn, we got knocked out. And then and that's get straight off. It. That's it. Huh? That's it. So that, I didn't know reaction videos were so popular. I didn't right. realize that. I didn't know they was popular too. I'm like, when I started, I started off doing shit like hip hop news. You know what I'm saying? And that just with the picture and my voiceover. Oh, that's really? it, yeah. And so the fans, like, they was fucking with me. I only had like nine thousand subscribers. Like, bro, you should do reactions. Like, your shit's like funny, and you just, you know, what I'm saying, you be keeping it real. And so when I did that, I'm just like, damn, it blew up. And when I seen reactions, bro, it's like all these reacting niggas out here. As soon as they react to a song, everybody like every song they react to, even if it's garbage, they be like, oh, this shit is dope. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And so when I got on there, I'm like. This nigga why be in the mirror like this shit garbage. No, or, no that's my boy. This an example. I ain't never said that about him. Well, I said that about Almighty J though. That nigga shit garbage. Oh, shit. But uh, see your honest reviews, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a few other rappers, I said it straight up, and they like, bro, you the first nigga that kept them one hundred, and they start rocking with it from there. And when I seen that they was fucking with me, and not just the content I was doing, that's why I made a vlog channel. 
know what I'm saying? Got you. Then I made a podcast channel. Then I so made smart. another reaction channel where I react to shit nothing but music. Then I made a gaming channel. Diverse then I made brands. another channel called OG Ghost. You know what I'm saying? And all of it just blew up, bro. I just hit a million subscribers for the second time on my uh, second channel. That's crazy. Easy to me. Do you think about it like like how in the '90s, like Funk Master Flex, DJ Clue, all of them were like the gatekeepers to hip hop. Their opinions mattered. The fans yeah. looked to them for their opinions. Do you feel kind of like that in this new generation? Oh yeah, for sure. Because nowadays, bro, niggas like me, I'm in my 30s now. I respect them. Mm -hmm. They older, they old school. But the young niggas right now I don't give a fuck about them. They That's fucking true. with me right now. You know what I'm saying? So when I speak, they listen. That's why I'm be trying to do no bullshit, no clout chasing shit, or nothing like that. Because that shit be for real, and they follow your moves like everything you do, and your word me power when you get clout. Like to keep it one hundred. Once you start getting Instagram followers and millions of views and all these subscribers, bro, people look at that clout and think you somebody or feel like you somebody and really want to fuck with you off of that. And it's a lot of people they get it, don't know what to do with it. That's why they're not here no more. It's true. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of people that know how to like balance the shit and they still around. Look at Snoop. <laughs> Look, he don't even got rap still no more, around. Nah, this nigga doing cooking shit. He doing, he on Gucci ads. He doing, you know what I'm saying? Corona. Once they mess with you, bro, you you through the roof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once they gonna mess with anything. Yeah, that's why I dropped me some merch. My merch doing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, stop ordering merch too right now. Cause Say stop ordering merch? Yeah, stop ordering them out. Because I be getting too many orders, bro. I meant to say that shit. <laughs> We're about to big the store up. The I'm store to, looks I, crazy. I, I meant to say that, bro. I'm yeah. telling y'all. And they're they going to try to be funny and order after they see this shit. Y'all ain't going to get nothing until like the middle of August. School about to start back and shit. I like my this. kids. You stop know what I'm saying? Stop ordering so, shit. It's yeah, stressful. Don't order no merch right know. now, bro. It's, it's, it's only me and my baby mama that's doing that shit right now. And it be too, it's, it's way too much. You know what I'm saying? I, feel, I just stopped it's five months much. ago. I did all my orders, every package. Out the house. Every Got to print the label, address, people DM you. My, my order there yet? Like, you didn't know me. You just you just made the order 10 minutes. How the fuck is going to get to Chicago oh. in 10 minutes? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I ordered overnight and shipping. I, I don't offer overnight shipping. What right. Talking about? But I don't even send to the UK. It takes forever. Not only that, expensive. it just costs too much. Yeah, <laughs> and then they get mad at you. We call it like fifteen dollars to send over there. Oh, we do it. Fifteen. Oh, that's good. I UK can way more. UK, Canada. If it's not in the US, bro, that ghost game merge. It's that's too some bad. Oh, shit, <laughs> it's too bad. I'm not sending that shit. I don't think I ever heard anybody ask. Please stop. I can't keep up. Uh, mm. Love that shit. That's real though, because yeah, most I people try to just up, take bro. as much money as they can get off the fans. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can't do it right now. So. I love that. That's a that's in the middle, to have. middle of August. Yeah, we will get back up. You ever thought of a uh, someone handling fulfillment for you? Yeah, and yeah, no, you know what I'm saying. I don't really. It's hard to trust niggas. You know what I'm saying. You know, one's gonna do better than you. Yeah, yeah. I like I, I don't, I don't been there. That's why jobs and shit don't really work. I got fired because my manager didn't like me. Where'd you work at? I worked at Walmart. Oh shit! Yeah, I was stocking right. boxes at Walmart like early in the morning when the truck come and shit. We got to do it. videos. I was there for no, I wasn't doing videos. Oh, I was in my twenties, and I was there for a few months. But we got a new manager. That nigga didn't like me. I was out of there in like three weeks. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, I don't, I don't really fuck with niggas. That's why. The thing about a job, bro, you can have you an apartment, you can have you a house, your kids, your girl, your wife, car notes, and all that type of shit. If your manager don't like you, he can end all that. It's 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 on my kids like shells. yeah 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 so you got to act like you like somebody just so you can keep your life straight your girl happy your kids fed and all that type of shit you know what I'm saying and I say that because when I got fired um nigga after that I was homeless I was in Vegas for that at the time you know what I'm saying so all right yeah and I was homeless bro and I was living in my car that's why I said when you two came from lacking options I don't had nothing else to do. I was a felon. I went to jail when I was 23, so that shit fucked me up. And so me making YouTube videos on my car, I think that's when people connected. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't seen nobody living in their car making YouTube videos. And, you know, it just it just went from there. It was just downfall, bro. I lost my kids. I lost my apartment. I lost everything, nigga. After you got fired? Yeah. So my mama got sick. My mama got sick. I moved to Vegas. It's like 2017. And uh, yeah, that's when I just went hard with this shit. And that's when I started that little overlay shit with the video I was telling you. Yeah. That's why today, bro, 
This is my first ever interview I've ever did in my life because I just don't trust people. If you go to my YouTube channels, I got 4,000 videos without one collab. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Damn, and the reason, 4, and the re- 4,000 videos, not one collab. I don't want no nigga telling me he putting me on because I'm going to want to fight. I don't want a nigga telling me he did this for me. That I've been through all that before. And with the YouTube shit, it's either if you work, you make it. If you don't, you don't. And I'm going to bet on myself, bro. I'm going to work hard as fucking this shit. And that's why I just, yeah. You were doing music before YouTube? I was doing music from when I was 18 to like 29 years old. Oh, damn. That shit yeah. didn't go nowhere, bro. But did you get a lot of distrust of people f- through that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was fucking with like little local labels and all that, but you know, people don't want to fuck with you until they see you actually making moves or see somebody else that got some kind of statue. Hundred oh, percent. Yeah, I hate that feeling. And I, when I noticed it, it was only my friend and shit only watching it. I'm doing this shit for eleven years at this point. But like I gotta do something else, bro. I love it. I gotta do something else. And that's why when I started the YouTube, when people fuck with you, like I said, they fuck with you. So now when I drop my music videos, I'm getting a million views in two days. Every time I drop, 500,000 views, a million views. I got the dopest beats from Hit Boy right now. That nigga sending me some beats. I got the dopest collabs from all these rap niggas, and it's because the way I move, bro. I don't want nothing from nobody. And if the relationship genuine, I'm fucking with it. 100%. I'm fucking with it. That's why I hit you. I mean, when you hit me up to do this shit, I'm like, Bro, cool. I looked at your page. You don't seem like no clout chasing ass nigga. You don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to go fuck with Yola. Yeah. That's what I'm I, here, I think bro. it comes from a, a, you weren't trying to be a YouTuber. You're just like, yo, let me try this shit. Same with yeah. me. I was just selling packs. And a lot of niggas try YouTube because they like videos and content. They love this shit. Like, to be real, I tried it. I did it for the money, bro. I didn't fall in love with YouTube till like probably six, eight months after I started doing it. I was just chasing the bag. I wanted to get money. I wanted to get money. Well, that's a my first. Though. You're yeah. in the car like I need to do something different, bro. First, first month twenty seven dollar check. First, second month sixty three dollar check. You remember that shit starting I don't YouTube, get paid, bro. bro? What you mean? I don't get paid on my channel. Why not? Because I show weed. I've never huh? gotten paid on my channel. On his main channel. Ever, he's got a bro. weed channel over a million. He's got like he's got three channels, including this two point one mil they owe me. Yeah. And my, you won't get no ashes. My shit, my shit is transparent bar. It sells money. And it what? doesn't give me no money. Yeah. And then two years ago, they said, fuck you. You're never going to be monetized again. They did that with my boy, Mr. TAC. That's fucked up. They I did don't get that. paid at all. So what you doing? Sp- I mean, ads and sponsors and shit like that? I have a, uh, the clothing company. Yeah. I have another company. I have like six companies I run. So why you want to make you another channel where you don't show the weed? I do. That's what this I do. I have. Oh, a, that's what this one is. Well, I have another channel called The Adventures where I do vlogs, family friendly shit. Oh, okay. But it's not as fun, man. It's not as fun, high, man. bro. <laughs> I'd rather be like, fuck, I'm struggling a little bit. I could it's get paid as over fun. here. So this one right here, you're getting paid for. Huh? We do get paid. We get fucked with heavy still yeah, on this yeah, channel. Yeah. Yeah. We'd have hey, look, let me tell you, just don't. Cuss within the first thirty seconds, bro. Don't like not, Don't do nothing within the first thirty seconds. You'll be That's all right. We try a ten minute nice guy clock. Is what we have on this channel. Yeah. Yeah. We started it early because I'm like, I want to smoke. Yeah, man. And then the YouTube ad, they won't really. You know what I'm saying? They understandable. YouTube not no busters like that. And then you got to be up in the uh, up in the city where the weed is legal too. Yeah, I've been here the whole Every, time. I never yeah. got paid, man. I never got paid. Your IP address, you let them know where you at in this way. Spotify's showing us a lot Shit. of love, though. Spotify's going out of their way to show us love. Yeah, oh, yeah. Really nice. We're yeah. partnered with Spotify. Yeah, popping on there? Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know that. you was on Spotify. You hear my little uh, drops of me on the commercial. Hey, what's up, man? Come watch our show. Blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, yeah, we got that's video hard. And everything on Spotify. So this one, we'll hype it up with them. They'll run a little ad campaign. Like, you'll watch the DJ Ghost episode on the Dope Usual Pie. This shit's weird to hear it. Like, this shit sounds professional. Yo, shit. <laughs> it's cool YouTube, hey, So what you got your shit on Spotify You yeah. gotta deal with them Oh we gotta deal with No like we're talk, <laughs> We're like talking to a partner They, yeah, they reached out to us and said We're picking a, a couple podcasts to promote yeah. in the And the podcast video. game cracking like that Yeah of course <laughs> Yeah yeah, we're moving I got dude. one but I do that shit once every four months do Or something like that Once a week man Do it once a week because people like you they yeah. just wanna, Even if you just do this Here's my favorite movies in order oh, like, They're gonna man. listen to you bro, <laughs> They wanna talk to you They just wanna Remember, remember that time when you were by yourself, you're smoking a joint, but I got nobody here with me. Yeah. And you connect with the person, they say one thing, and now you're homies. Mm-hmm. So remember, a lot of people don't have that. Mm-hmm. So you are that. Mm-hmm. That's why you got to follow, dude. People follow you. How many times you go up a week? 
with your podcast once a week every monday yeah yeah every monday that's dope so do you chop these up or you put them all out at one time marty does all the edits all everything you chopping up marty how many videos you gonna get out of it so we got the full length episode on like five clips and a couple of vertical. Oh, okay, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say you gotta do the clips, bro. We That's where it's channel at. Too, yeah, yeah, you right. gotta do the clips. But bro. then we're dropping on his Dobazola channel once a week too, and the adventure yeah, the weed channel. shit. Oh, okay. weed shit. I, I do once a week. Start Twitch, Twitch but, podcast or Twitch gaming? No, I just chill and smoke weed on the. You don't game over there? I'm about to. I just started last week. Dude, what you playing? Fuck with me, yo, yeah. the people fuck. I told you my DMs, bro. Period, nigga. My DMs, my YouTube comments. It's crazy, huh? Go to Yola. I'm Same telling you, you are liking. Bro. Go to Yola. Flip. I fuck It's because you two are going to go down in the history books of, this, of YouTube. People yeah. making it by their stories. Just like, yeah. just right. talking oh, and being you yourself. Really you had never gone, hold on, hold on. Let me get ready. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, I know you don't do that shit. Yeah, you yeah, no, nah, nah, nah. Hold on, start over, man. All right, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, yeah, I, I said, yeah, we'll subscribe, that man. This shit helps. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, like, it's not going to be that way, man. Hey, y'all got that backwood or I hate that. That's not a bad word. What's that, uh, AJ? Loosely. Yeah. When the last time you smoked smoke, uh, some tobacco? The last time I smoked tobacco was when I did How to Roll a Blunt video because everybody kept asking. Like, I know how to roll blunts. Mm. I just don't really smoke them. Because I used to smoke nothing but blunts when I was selling packs and shit until I was like 21. And I switched over to joints. It's, like I said, they got me doing reactions. They got me doing all that shit. But certain shit I don't do that they always ask me to show you how to roll a blunt. It's cause, bro. When I upload my videos, you know you got the, well, you know you got the eighteen over. You got to oh, push you eighteen over. Yeah. Don't ruin your channel. You got kids watching, bro, yeah, and yeah. I don't want them to be like DJ. Go show me how to roll a wooty whoop whoop. Like fuck. It's <laughs> a fair point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, You're on the good side of YouTube, man. So you yeah, stay yeah, there. yeah, you, you yeah. Because he just, every time, I mean, he's blowing right at the camera the whole time, yeah. but he's not sitting there doing macro reviews. Yeah, no. Nah. over here with That's not even cameras. weed. That's that's tobacco. That ain't weed. Don't listen to the hype. <laughs> there you, know you go. Saying? That's there you tobacco, go. bro. I just make it look like it's weed to be cool. I want to be cool like everybody else. You know what I'm, saying? I'm a rapper. Yeah, I want to be like cool, that. bro. That ain't real weed. Yeah. <laughs> so um, how many pages you got total? Five. Damn. I just got my 10th plaque, too, my 10th YouTube plaque. No shit. Yeah. Like the hundred thousand and then yeah. it's a million, I got right? I got I got two million plaques and eight hundred thousand uh eight hundred thousand plaques. Quick too, right? Like in the past like two years basically, right? Like since three and a half. Yeah, three three and a half years. Yeah. What a run, man. Yeah. Damn. A run, yeah. Nah, they shit. rocking with me right now, man. That's what I love. I love it, bro. man. I love yeah. it. Stay up to date, stay on topics. But they know my kids' know. birthdays. My mama birth my mama passed a couple months ago, bro. I'm still getting the you know what I'm saying? The grief and all that. Like, the subscribers, they change our lives. Yours, yours, yeah, yours. I went like, through the same thing. Yeah, bro. Man. And then that shit crazy. That shit crazy. Like, overwhelming to a point. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas love you that don't even know you. For oh, real. For sure, man. But it's for like real. when horrible shit happens in life and it's like, you know, you're going to have to go over it. Like, your life is, the, you have no choice but to go over it with the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got on camera when it happened. You know, I cried on camera. It's emotional. Mm -hmm. I'm not deleting none of that. Yeah. Everybody go through it. You know what I'm saying? And that shit and will help somebody, man. Yeah, that shit helps. That's people. almost Everybody your job, though, it. to the fans. Like, right. And just be cool and be pure to them. Like I said, they put you in this position. You just got to... Don't squander that yeah, shit. Yeah, keep it 100 with them. Yeah. If you keep it 100 with them, you straight. Forever. If you see them, don't be on that Michael Jordan bullshit and not take a picture with them. Thank you. What the fuck, bro? Are you you, you that seen that shit? That shit I, and a little nigga had some shoes on. Yeah, he had some Jordans on. on. Yeah, bro. He don't like be that. doing none of that, Go bro. Go the gate. I they should have threw a rock at that heart, nigga, bro. man. They should have threw something at it. I would have fucked his windows up. That shit hurt. Me at that age, them little niggas was like 13, Broke right? I would have yeah, would have threw a rock at his car. <laughs> yeah, up, bro. I'm not even lying. The clip's fucked up. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though? Up. I was thinking about when you were telling your story. Had you not been in that position in your car, though, would you not be here today like this? Struggling rapper. Trying to make it. Yeah. That's the only thing I would have had. Like I said, the world look at you fucked up when you a felon. No job, no apartment. That shit just, it taints you for yeah. however long that shit stay on your record. What is it, seven years or something like that? I think that? it's seven, yeah. It took and so what you gonna do? What you Float. gonna do, bro? Chill at the house while your baby mama work? Sell something? Rapping is the only legal way. You know what I'm saying? It's the only legal way. You can't go to sports because if you ain't doing that shit while you're in high school. You don't got a chance. <laughs> you ain't coming off the street to the NBA. That shit only in movies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> Dang. You ain't coming off the street yeah. to the NFL, to the major leagues, and that's so it's struggling rapper. I made a vow to myself when I was 27, I'm done with anything illegal and anybody that fuck with it. 
<clears throat> I promise you, bro. Like, nigga, I love niggas. You know what I'm saying? That do their thing. But as far as kicking it with them every day, having them in my circle, that shit not there with me no more, bro. I don't fuck around. I feel you so I heavy. Just, that man. shit don't fuck around. Was there a final I straw? I got two kids. Or just like, overall, just like I'm at a different point? This might sound cliche, but when I had my kids, bro, my first kid was born with autism. You know what I'm saying? He disabled. And if I'm not there leaving that on my baby mama, that shit would have fucked me up. Then I had another one who wanted to be just like me. You know what I'm saying? And it just, I, I was just cool, bro. I was just straight on everything. <clears throat> I just been through a lot of shit. Yeah. Been through yeah. a lot of shit. And the YouTube shit, why do something illegal? Once I got here, it's just like, I was just telling them, like, I'm finna move to the forest in Oregon. After you, I leave out of there, I love bro, that shit. like, I'm finna, I'm gonna die out there. I, lo- I used to I'm for real. There. Yeah. Where in Oregon, it's Man. dope. It's the the nice. weed is cool up there. I was That's the only thing I'm worried hard. about. Yeah, That's the only thing up for it and people talk shit about it. It's fire. It's fire as fuck. It's all about who you know. Just like you can go to fucking anywhere. It's all about who you know. Yeah. Oregon is the shit. There's no sales tax. The housing's low. There's Everybody, no sales tax. You go to the store. Hey, how much is how much is shirt? Here. 99 cent. It's Done. 99 cent. Done. That's why you go up there and buy designer shit and leave. <laughs> <laughs> because where's that tax coming? You can buy three you more shirts. Me and on, shit. Bro. Yeah. You just put me on. Yeah. It's fucking sick. Actually. So right now, how the weed is out there? It's cool. It's cool because there's indoor. Okay. The outdoors. Now I'm talking about the laws. Is is legal? Fully, bro. For real? Fully. You're fine. Oh, yeah, out there. So I'm straight then. You should look this up. But last year they were talking about making coke and heroin legal out there too. <laughs> I'm not even kidding because they're like, yo, we're arresting people for what? They're adults. The thing about that, that's just like crazy. every other law, once they hit one 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 state, it's gonna hit all the other ones. All of, yeah, it's scary. You know, a country full of crackheads, bro. They're just talking about like not arresting him, put him in prison for <coughs> possession, for re like having a strike and possession. Yeah. Like, no, nah, bro, you're a drug addict. Get help first. I, I, I kind of fuck with that because I know a lot of drug addicts, so I get it. That shit probably cap. You still got niggas doing time for weed that got arrested 10 years ago, bro. They're still, still in prison right now. <laughs> still got five years left. Still got seven years left. Over just two pounds crazy. of weed type shit. Yeah. My homie's facing yeah. that. Six years in in Texas right now over some some weed over bro. some packs. And it's legal fine. if you get if you get pulled over with that shit today. It's oh, a this ticket. Is, this is today, but it's in Texas. Texas oh yeah, I thought you were talking about out here. Yeah, yeah, world, yeah. Man. They don't fuck. They with They still that. ride around in horses and sombreros and shit out there, bro. They ain't uh, fucking around out there. Anything, bro. They don't fuck with you at all out there. If you, I don't know what it is. Texas is the only state in the um, United States right now that still got the death penalty. No shit. Yeah, look that shit up. They do, like, lethal injections. I'm shit? pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're the only state right now that got the death penalty. I tried to give you that shit over some weed too. <laughs> yeah. Every time I was in Texas, I felt uncomfortable. Like just, yeah. I didn't even have weed. Just knowing yeah. people that are supposed to protect you are willing to just do this to you over this fucking. Marty's process. from New York, from Buffalo. So yeah, Marty's so I'm jaded got, off the top. Yeah, so he fucked. Oh, up. that weed up there ain't. Shit. Let's not talk about the weed in Buffalo. At least back in fucking. The I don't think 2000s. no weed on the East Coast is good, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's from here. No, they say it's from here. That's how they get you. Everybody say, everybody <laughs> say they got that Cali. Yeah, everybody loves saying they got that Cali, bro. So when you got out of town, they say I got that Cali. That should be garbage. I bring my weed out of state. I've been to a lot of state. <laughs> well, how you do it? Oh, never mind. Just tell me off of this. Shit. No, I'll tell you right now. You ready? I do video. Ready? Yeah. I call whatever fucking airline I'm going to, and I tell uh-huh. them my flight. I go, yeah, I'm gonna have this amount of weed on me. Don't touch my shit. Here's my card. Here's my shit. I'm a patient. I'm going to another state that's wrecked. And I put my wreck on it. I duct tape my jars in case fools want to take nugs out of my shit. Yeah. Put my put my uh, ID photo on top of my weed, and I put a note: "Don't touch my." Politely, like you don't lying, touch my. Bro, so I've you done videos even, on this, bro. Are you flying to other states where the weed is legal? I flew over and I had to stop in Utah, and I said, "Hey, I'm making a stop in Utah. Am I gonna get arrested when I stop in Utah?" And they go, "You shouldn't." I went, That's not a reassuring, bitch, bro. <laughs> I didn't know you bro, did all look, this. Check this out. Yeah, I, I have it on realize. tape, on check. Snapchat, and everything. Yeah, check it's, this out, bro. Called TSA. I thought I was gonna go to jail if I take. I just went to Hawaii, right? Probably like three weeks ago. I didn't take none because I thought I was gonna go to jail. And I'm out there, bro. They weed fucked up my vacation. That's just so oh. garbage. Talk. Hey, fuck Hawaii, bro. They weed is so garbage Damn. out there. That shit. No, you figured it'd be the opposite. And they got and they got islands out there. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as I touch down, you already know I'm in the story. Like, hey, I'm out here. I need some weed. So everybody like, all oh, from this island, I'm 30 minutes away. I'm an hour away. Another nigga, I'm 10 minutes away. Another nigga, I'm right here. I'm like five minutes. They all pull up on me, bro, with the same weed. 
No. That shit was so. It's like they grow their weed in the sand out there, bro. <laughs> I ain't never tasted no weed, so I will never go back to Hawaii in my life, and I would never Damn. wreck it. And don't be like, oh, ghost, you just had a bad experience. No, the fuck I didn't. I mean, yeah, I did, but you will too, bro. <laughs> don't go to Hawaii. <laughs> but you will. You did a cross that garbage, though. bro. Damn. I'm telling you. Is don't go to Hawaii, it? bro. Don't do it. My mom lived, her, lived there for four years and never visited her once. Yeah, don't visit that <laughs> shit. I just hate the water. Why she only stayed for four years? She yeah. got divorced. <laughs> she, yeah, that's it. she moved back. Ho- it wasn't her due. Hawaii made her get divorced, bro. I'm telling you. It was the weed? Yeah, it was the weed. And she don't even <laughs> smoke. It's still a weed. That she made didn't her even get smoke divorced. Out there at that time either. Shit. Yeah, that shit is garbage. No, my here. homie did tell me that the weed's kind of bad out there. But there's some sp- kind of like, stretching it though. That shit is was it, bad. Was it like that bad, like long nugs. Would you shit? smoke a stretch weed back in the day? Of course. Yeah. Man, I was a little kid. Like, all right. So 13. it's like you were smoking AZ back in the day, that Arizona weed. Of course, that shit was green. It wasn't brown. All right. It's like in between AZ and stretch, right there. Uh, yeah, that's they chronic. <laughs> That's that throat. product out there. They don't. The yeah. finest shit they brought to DJ Ghost when he came <laughs> One nug on a plane. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> is this shit? It just went legal there, though, so it's probably like early. No, nah, they got shops out there. Yeah, they got shops out there. the same shit, probably. Yeah, it probably is, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know they get it from the same plug, for sure. It was the same exact way. They all buy it from the I'm same I'm going to drop that vlog. I'm going to drop that vlog in like, in probably like four days. You will see, nigga, I was out there tripping. Damn. Like, yeah, hey, what's you up, DJ up. Ghost? I'm like, fuck you, bro. I don't even want to take no pictures. I don't want to do that. And that's it. Yeah. I'm out there about this shit. I'm just walking to the store. They all they got is swishers. I'm yeah. just yeah. killing me, bro. They Hawaii some, was they got a some bad experience. Pineapples ex- and shit though. Hawaii was a bad experience. Do you do you edit all your own vlogs and shit? Yeah, I do everything. I don't fuck with nobody. Everything in the house. Fuck with nobody. I Every, love I it. mean, not like that though. But no, I know what you mean. Like, I want to do my own shit. It's just like if you're doing a vlog, say you do a vlog, right? And you, you know, I'll be vlogging in the house. I vlog everywhere. And um, it's me, I'm talking. Then I walk past my kids, my girl, whatever the case. They laughing. She might see something or say something. And then I go to the vlogs and I edit it up. Can't nobody edit your vlogs like you do. You know what I'm saying? 100%. If I say fuck you, get out the way. He might not know I'm playing with my girl on my vlog, so he might put it in there or I take it out of there type shit. Like nobody can do it how you, you know what I'm saying? I stopped editing when I met Marty. Oh, I stopped final editing. I used to edit everything until like yeah. 2020. So I do the rough cut, all what I want to say, and then I have yeah. to do the cool shit. And now I kind of handed that off. Cause I'm like, yo, if I say some stupid ass shit, don't put it in I'll there. I be keeping that in there, though. I keep everything in there. I feel like everybody like me, bro. Everybody is a regular nigga. They be fucking no, up. No, like shit where I, I just did a Tupac, a whole Tupac reaction with a booger in my nose, man. <laughs> I was mad as fuck. <laughs> I would drop that shit next week. It took me like, I came out here. I'm about to drop that shit. But I was looking at the video. I'm like, fuck it. It was 42 minutes long, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get that time back. I'm like, man, I'm gonna be here for 42 minutes clowning. I ain't finna scratch this video. I ain't trying to, Did what? you edit this shit? Huh? Did you edit the video at all? Nigga, it's in my nose. I know, but I'm saying so, when you're editing, you're like staring at like, fuck. fuck oh yeah, it's, fuck. bro. It's I did that to me. Day. To me, it's covering the whole screen. Yeah, but it's 100%. really just right here. But I'm looking at it, it's covering the whole screen. But I'm I, had, a, I did the New York vlog as I'm looking at it. It wasn't like, even on. It was it was hanging too from my nose to my mustache. Uh, like from here. It was the long. It wasn't. Uh, a, it wasn't the dots. It was the string ones, bro. Like, it was a string. <laughs> yeah. I was like, y'all niggas go see that Some graphic shit. I'm like, damn, bro. It was like five o'clock in the morning. So how many videos, how long does it take you to bust this out and edit this shit? I'm, mm-hmm. I'm assuming a couple hours, right? What? Film and edit a video done? A vlog or a reaction? Reaction video. Quick, right? A reaction video. Yeah, that reaction video. It all depends how long it takes me to record it. I mean, sometimes the video could be two minutes. And I react to that shit for 50 minutes oh, on a video. You know what I'm saying? Though. But um, as far as editing, editing only take like four minutes. Four? Yeah, three minutes maybe on a ah. reaction. It's the vlogs that'll take me like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. I like to watch and look through every clip. Oh. I don't just take the cool shit out. Then I don't like to edit them. I like to, if I fall on the vlog, I put that. My mama fell in the pool. That's still in the vlog. Oh, My baby sh- mama fell off a bike. That's still in the vlog. Like, I feel everybody is normal, bro. Yeah, just record And I your think life. that's why people connect. Yeah. Like everybody normal. The only shit I cut is when I'm like that. <coughs> fucking up, fucking yeah, my words yeah, up. Yeah. Cause, I'm, Cause on my other channel, my vlog channel, I'm high as fuck, but I don't show it. Yeah. YouTube, my family friendly, man. 
So I'm I I'll fuck my words up twenty times. I'll actually say fuck <laughs> and have to redo my line. I'm like, no, nah, see, fuck saying that. Fuck. Yeah, that shit is cool on YouTube. Cuss words is cool on YouTube. You, you cussing your family friendly channel? I smoke it all that shit. Hell yeah. Oh uh, no, nah, they. Hell yeah, they, nah, I'll be oh, big they'll, doing it. They'll kill that. me. Nah, that's matter. probably because you're not putting. Are you putting in that eighteen and older? Yeah, that's why you're getting messed up. You put when you edit your vlog. I mean, when you go to when you upload your video, right there where you title it, go all the way down. They gonna say, "Is this vlog made for kids or eighteen and older?" Made for not made for kids. Cause that like chops the views in half usually huh? for us. If, you, if we were to age restrict it off top, like no, nah, that's that don't age restrict your videos. Making it eighteen and older do not age restrict your videos. Oh, cause I get all yeah. my videos age restricted yeah. in the back end, and sometimes they're blocked. Yeah, when you get your videos age restricted, bro. All right, well, yeah, we'll talk off camera. Okay, okay, you know thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank God, you got something, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I get put, they deleted my YouTube, man, and then I got, yeah. he got it back for me fucking a month later. Uh -huh. The night before we had a million. Before we had a million. What? 995 deleted. What? I went for to what? Look. You tell me, man. No strikes either. Not one strike. Deleted the whole page. Uh, yeah, it bro. was probably an accident. You know, YouTube got, um, they accidentally did it, deleted a few people's videos. No, my whole channel. To where they... I mean channels. To oh, where okay. it's, a, it's a group of creators. They got videos where they went to the YouTube office because they uh, channels got deleted. Oh, they whole shit. channels, bro. It's what yeah. happened to me. It almost came to that. <laughs> this yeah, was, <laughs> you know they're right up there. I think they're like San Francisco or something. Uh -huh. I went to Frisco yeah. for IG once. Yeah, they up there. Yeah. Yeah. They delete me on Instagram every month, basically. So I went to IG one time. They were yeah. like, yo, get the fuck out of here. That's what they told me. <laughs> Sign this, fill this, and get the fuck out of here. Oh, they were straight? Yeah, they weren't helping me. They don't give a fuck about me. Yeah. I'm on my 27th account on Instagram, bro. I get deleted like every month. Oh, yeah. What is it? Because of the trees or what? I don't even show weed no more. Oh, so since you stopped sewing, you still got it? Still get deleted. Huh? I still get deleted. Not showing no weed. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm on this weird blacklist shit right now, I guess. That's crazy. Yeah, it's weird, man. So when it's I see. It's got billboards, got Forbes article just yeah, out. Yeah, it's shit. like. I can't get no check mark. Forbes article. Y'all are getting money. You didn't see that shit? That shit was crazy to me. Article. You got one of those? selling packs at the very beginning of this shit. For real? Yeah, it says the most popular content cannabis in the world. What? That shit. Oh, that is all. Mind blowing, bro. It's mind blowing. Me and my, it's my company, the dopest, all the pens and all the edibles and shit. Yeah. That's my company I have with my homies. And we did like an article because we're, we're like number two in the country right now. But we don't do wholesale or nothing, so we're crushing these fools. Oh, that's hard. Yeah, I'm fucking stoked. And Congrats, it goes on 50 bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's hard. Yeah, but I still get deleted. So that's why he's like, yo, you can do all this shit and still get fucked with. Oh, it's probably it's probably some automated. I don't think nobody uh, just pressing a button on you like that. Not at YouTube. I don't think oh, YouTube no. like no, that. No, not even YouTube. It's everywhere. Oh, my, my Snapchat got deleted too. What? Number two in America got deleted. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. We're working on it though. We just signed a deal that we're. Yeah, we just signed a deal. Is it the yeah. dope in your name? I changed my name. It's been Yola YouTube for fucking five mm -hmm. years, three years. I still get that shit deleted. Damn. I've been paying fools on Instagram low key and to get it back. <laughs> and they get it back and it gets deleted again. I just lost how, how many thousands of dollars? I'm like, mm. it's a bummer. They tried to charge me 50 the other day, 50 bands to get my you shit. You got a back. Patreon? Um, I, it, was, it took too much of my time. Honestly, I tried. I we tried. got an app. Dopeazola.com yeah, and the Dopeazola app. app so is so notifications. Let me tell you, let me tell you out, like man. this. Let me tell you like this. Y'all get mad, oh well, so what? Look. The Patreon. I had a Patreon for a year, right? So I upload probably like four or five videos a month on there. But these videos, nigga, they be beheaded and some more shit. Shit you can't put on YouTube. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm shit. Saying? Oh, you're reacting to shit like that? Yeah, That's my Patreon. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so. I was probably getting like 2,000 um, patrons a month. I'm like, bro, y'all ain't subscribing for sure. Stop uploading. I'm like, the video's on Patreon. I stopped uploading to YouTube for like two weeks. After that, I was getting like 20,000 patrons a month. Nigga. Different people? Yeah. That's insane. God damn. Yeah. You crushed this shit, though. I got I to be honest. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen somebody do whatever they want in every category and still fucking just crush it. Mm -hmm. That's the oh, yeah, gaming that's, channel. Get the vlog. Got this. Got the pot. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. That's what. How Appreciate long have it. you been having on like Twitch and Discord with the uh, role play and all that? That's a year. Barely a year. You been doing a year? That? Yeah. Wow, man. Yeah, my homies put me up on RP. Shout out my boy Fonz Gucci. Uh, 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 Nino, Sean, they put me up on it. You know what I'm saying? She's getting there. And so when I got on it, yeah, yeah, like gang banging in real life, man. I do that on GTA RP. Yeah, I get up in there, get my guns out, drags out. Isn't that you crazy? You roll with your homies and shit. Yeah, 
get paid to go. It's called go. Gritty World RP on 5M. You have your own GT. world? Yeah, I got my own server. Oh, that's what's called a server. That's yeah, my own server. I'm yeah. so bad at this game. We're shit, still bro. learning about this. We're we're I'm tapping into the game. Well, right. you do, bro. You come up in there. That's hell yeah. Fun. I got the PC, all that shit behind that curtain. Oh, uh, you tripping, y'all? You need to get up on this there. week though. I just got it all set up. You need like, to I just get up got on it. It's gonna probably take you like two hours to download everything. And yeah, I got my homie. I just got a new. I'm moving, so I got an extra room, so I can turn yeah. it into like my Twitch room and shit. Okay, it's like smoking, cool shit. I don't know. I don't want to have to come to my warehouse every time I want to get on Twitch real quick. It might be 12 at night. I want to smoke bowls and talk to people and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I need to do it at home, you know? Yeah, yeah. Damn, dude, you, get, you do so much. This is your full-time job. This is what you do all yeah, day. Yeah, that's what I do, bro. That's what I do, yeah. I'm an internet nigga now. You know what I'm saying? I'm a YouTuber. That's it. It's cool. It's cool. That's I it. I fuck with it. And you, I, we, Marty, Marty's been watching you for a long-ass time. Appreciate it. Yeah, I, I like I said, it was like two, two and a half years ago when I first saw you. All right. You do story times too. Yeah, I stopped him. Why'd you stop him? Because I'm going to be the first YouTuber to get indicted. <laughs> 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 you know how they know all that yuck thug shit. And then she, hey, look, 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 look. Then they come out saying they got two more. And I'm, mm. The okay. story times, I stopped those. I feel you. Because you're telling I, your real life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And My shit gets wild too. I feel you. Yeah. But I always go, how many years? I'm good. <laughs> and that's why I do something. That's you why start counting the statu- uh, statute of limitations. I do. I'm like, you know what? No, no, no. And then you going to have. He's it. dead, actually. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Like, that guy died. I'm fine. That shit is crazy, bro. And I, yeah, I'm cold. I, talk, I'm cold. I just talk about. I, I don't care. I think it's the contrast of shit, though. Like, yo, how many packs? I'm like, yeah. Packs. Uh, it's just because you don't see. I used to sell pizza and shit. Yeah. I used to drop packs off while I was selling pizza during like college. Damn, you was crazy, bro. It's because nobody pulls the pizza guy over, so I would leave that sign on even yeah. after work. But like, I would come in with my my bag, yeah. my scale on my pound, like whatever. <laughs> because it's my homie's house. I just it just looks like the pizza guy walked in. Yeah. I had the shit down for four years, bro. I only did the pizza just so my made more money than you made at your job for in sure. Thirty minutes flat. Every day, my whole check was less than what I made in 30 minutes selling yeah. weed. You know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, sell an eighth, tax. I know if cool, well, old dudes, I, I tax on zips for like 350 Like, I just made my whole check. Mm. Sick. He started doing reenactments on story time. Yeah. And we just did a full reenactment of him going out, dealing with a seven-foot racist with Yo. the pizza box. Hold on. Right? Why you was vlogging? <laughs> no, so I do story time, right? Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Let's oh, you reenact your story time. And I got my homie to like with the like with the cinema shit. Oh, uh, y'all own one right now. I'm trying to because we're trying to pitch this shit to Netflix, man. Because we got some fools doing some stuff, and I think yeah. we can have like an actual chance of making. Oh, you got plugs. Show, you you know? got plugs. We're trying. Bro. You got plugs. We're hella trying right now. I told you I don't fuck with niggas. I don't know nobody at Netflix, Hulu. Oh, I don't know Tubi, none of those fools. Tubi, none of that. Shit, no, you know? we're trying to make like a portfolio. But like, look, look at this following we got. Give us a fucking show and a budget. What's wrong with you? Right. You know, because I would watch Slide your show. Slider. Yeah, appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, appreciate I would watch it. this shit. And yeah. What if you had somebody acting? You just talked about your stories and like, yo, this is my life. I would That'd watch be that hard. fucking show. Reenact story times. You see what I'm saying? Like I would Ooh, watch that show. They finna be on that now. Right? You shouldn't have said that. They finna be on that. Oh, time. they can do whatever they want. They can't take me. Mother- no, I'm talking about the fans. Me. They finna bug oh. us on that shit. Oh, they already do it. They don't bother you. All that they tag shit. Netflix off yeah. for me all the time, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We got some, we have some shit we're trying, but like we said, we move. Uh, we signed a deal. We're moving uh, studios. We're with another media company, so it's like Tyson. Matt Barnes, us, like now we're like in the same studio, so we're gonna move our whole shit. Okay. So we're gonna be like, uh, he talking about that hot boxing podcast, Mike Tyson. Yeah, he's got his, so like our set, they're gonna recreate our set at like some Wayne's World shit. Okay. When they walk in, my, it's not Wayne's yeah. fucking basement. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Mike Tyson smoked like a motherfucker. Oh, yeah, no, I can't wait, bro. I can't yeah. wait to chill with that motherfucker. Yeah. You wanna smoke a zip? Let's do it. He gonna be with it too. Oh, he only sure. smoked papers. Well, then we're gonna be best friends. They only smoke papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, he's all, this shit, shit. all this shit is laid out on the. Phone yeah, when you see this production, man, when yeah. you really see production, they shoot it like a TV show. Wow. Yeah, like a commercial. Yeah. That's dope. Like, That's it's just dope. us. It's just us. It's me and him every day. And always being just y'all two. Yeah. yeah, it's just me and him. Mm-hmm. So who came up with the idea, did. though? I mean, both of us yeah. kind of. So you was shit. just like, let's get on YouTube and start some. Uh, no, Marty does. Uh, Marty stopped all of it, but Marty. Who you working for? Like he does all the big comedians, like the Rogan shit, the Yvonne, all the other stuff. Marty's like the uh, what'd you call it, media manager? Yeah. So that's what he did, and I was like, "Yo, I want to start a podcast," and this will hit me up. Yeah. We're like, let's do this shit together. So he kind of takes on all the roles of all those comedian shows, and we're like, "I'm gonna do my own thing." 
Mm-hmm. So that's why we kind of people like need to start out. showing YouTube more respect, bro. Because everybody stump, like stumping ground where they start out is YouTube. Everybody, all the big podcasters, the Spotify deals, yeah. they move Everything. on to Netflix yeah. and all that type of shit. All these rappers, people. I'm not a YouTube rapper. Woo, woo, woo. If I was YouTube, I'd delete them niggas' channels. <laughs> like, bro, how you gonna try to dummy down after you just made millions on my shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love YouTube, nigga. I, I love you. That, that shit love changed it. my life, bro. Nah. YouTube for real changed my life. stopped selling packs, moved into YouTube, yep. started yep. to push trees. That paid for yeah, the warehouse, started happened. the podcast. Same yeah. I, I would yeah. have like two fucking kids living in Merced, selling packs, working in like fucking the city or some shit. I know what I yeah. need. It doesn't sound bad, but I knew what I needed to do different. Right. To, you know, we got like you got a fucking cult following. That's like I know your life. Yeah. Thank you for being there on the that's days I appreciate it like a month. Yeah, for real. It's the craziest feeling. For real, that's bro. The craziest shit. They praying I make it home on my flights and some more shit. You know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? I know, I know you're super stoked. It's the first DJ Ghost episode of all time. Real quick, we're just gonna take a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is Miller Lite. Just in case you're already drinking, drink responsibly, drive responsibly, don't drink and drive. So, MillerLite.com forward slash Yola sends you to a landing page, every place that'll deliver you beer. Or, like we said, if you're not already drinking, just drive to the store, any store on earth, and find Miller Lite. Guys, it's August. What does that mean to a lot of Americans. Football's almost back. Football Sundays, Marty said this as we started this episode. There's nothing better than a 10 o'clock beer watching the Bills. That's literally what Marty said. That football Sunday, guys, you know the environment. You're putting your chips in your stuff. You're getting everybody ready. You're calling your homies like, you're gonna lose. And once you crack open that first beer, that's it. It's over. That is football Sunday. So you might as well make it a Miller Lite. But no, for real, every time you drink Miller Lite, you're supporting us, man. The more, the better. We appreciate it. So once again, go to MillerLite.com forward slash Yola. That's going to take you to a landing page. Every place that'll deliver you beer. If not, go to the store and grab yourself a 12 pack. And always, guys, please celebrate responsibly from the Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For all the healthy people out there, 96 calories, 3.2 grams of carbs per can. With that being said, guys, thank you for supporting the brands that support us. Back to the episode. Yeah, making videos, bro, yesterday. Mm. That shit crazy uh, to me. It's crazy to me. We hate flying to begin with. I hate it. Yeah, I can't stand this. I hate it with a passion. Bro, I have to just close my Bro, as soon as the turbulence come, it's like my heart goes straight to my eyes. I be so like the worst roller coaster in the world. No matter how many times you do it, still, every time. It's the worst no matter what. It just ain't no safety valve. Like, this shit go down, bro. Done. One thing I don't like is they don't give passengers parachutes. That shit stupid as fuck. That was our topic last week, man. For real? And I was like, why I don't have a parachute on my fucking chair? Why they don't give passengers a parachute? That shit's stupid I said, as fuck to me, bro. Why don't they put a parachute on the plane? Yeah. And then all the fans sent me a video of crazy? a plane going with a parachute. parachute. They have See? them on the, back of par- on the back of certain planes now. That's in Dubai. They don't fuck with us like his. Why don't we just have our chair do this? Dubai. Oh, put that strap on your chair. Yeah. Put forward as a parachute. And you can or you can eject that shit how them pilots do. As soon as the plane going down, you can push that button with the... Right? I need a chance. Yeah, Just give me a chance. Yeah, yeah. bro. Give me a big ass. Elon Musk and something. Jeff Bezos, y'all invested y'all money in the wrong shit. Nigga, y'all need to put y'all <laughs> for real, I'll bro. I'll pay double, bro, if I know that my life is good. For real. I'll like, pay for double sure. for my seat. And you know what's crazy? As scary as it is, they say it's more um, safer than driving a car. I'd rather do this. I almost died. Yeah. Then, hey, that fucking old man up there is fucking up. Drive better. Fly no, this no, shit. I don't, I don't, no. Yeah, flying, but I don't fuck with it. Because you can't do nothing about it is what it is. You can't. And then they got the nerve to put a fucking seatbelt on the plane. Like, what the fuck <laughs> this shit going to do? <laughs> hey, you said, I never <laughs> thought about that yet. Really. Yeah, well, for real. <laughs> 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 That's what they going to do. Nothing. Nah. They probably make it worse. I know if the plane going down, I'm going to move around. Nigga, try to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, I'm going to at least try to jump out and like yeah, break my fall door or something. Or something. something. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. I don't even want to think one. about this shit. Oh, my re- God. One of the story times he reenacted was a fucking plane crash. I almost died in a fucking crash. plane crash in Denver, For real? Denver, bro. It was the scariest shit you, of my life. You, you go, bro. Nah, we All lifted right. up out of our seats. Our shit was going. <laughs> shit started turbulence. falling. Oh, it was bad. It was turbulence, bro. huh? It was bad. It was in the winter. Yeah, see, it's a hail storms. So it sound like bullets. See, fuck that. That shit was. It was not. I will miss that money, that family reunion. I will miss. I'll oh, drive I, the winter. I don't fly in the winter, bro. I didn't know. I'm at the house in the winter. Yeah, I, I don't know. fly in the winter, bro. I've been on too many scary ass like to where the things come out the ceiling and some old oh, shit. You got you seen that? I yeah, seen twice that. on everything I love. And they were both in the winter. One time when I went to Florida, I went to Jacksonville, and another time I went to uh, what kind of the south? I went to St. Louis. And that shit happened. 
Scariest shit in that's the world, the, that's bro. That's way worse than what I got. Never mind. I yeah, lifted out my seat. I thought I was like, oh, I'm gonna die. No, nah, then you saw that. Then, 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 then you got the uh, flight attendant. Flight attendants running to their seats and shit. That's like, when I lost my shit. Yeah, when you when they don't know what to do. That's when yeah. I was like, the guy looked like he was gonna cry. Yeah. He was a scary old mean ass man, and he started running for his life. I'm like, I'm and why they like that, bro? I had some old ass females too. Why they be on movies? They try to make making it seem like flight attendants be fine as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they? I ain't seen a cute flight attendant in a damn my life, and I've been flying like a motherfucker, that's bro. I ain't seen one in a damn my life. Some dude with a lot of personality. I'll probably see you know a mean? thick old lady that's like 60, but yeah. other than that, I don't ever see no like. I don't think I've ever heard more, nothing more true in my life. <laughs> you ain't never seen a cute flight attendant, bro. Man. And I feel bad if I was on your flight recently. I'm very sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't. Shit, it's just I don't. That shit, true. Nah, you, hold on. Where'd you fly to Hawaii though? You had the little first class pot or some shit, right? Oh, you seen it? Yeah, yeah. I flew. Uh, oh, it? United. Yeah, that shit was dope. I'm gonna do it next time. And they had a bed. That shit laid out to a bed, bro. You had a bed. You got your own refrigerator, your own TV. Damn, I'd be too tempted. You to had smoke, all man. that shit. Hold on. So yeah. what class is that? Because that's not just first class. That's, that's first th- class, bro. It was so, first class. All right. Yeah. There's different levels of first class, right? Like, no, nah, no. Nah, see, if you flying under two hours. They give you the first class to where it's just two seats with the extra leg room. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you fly in more than two hours, oh, they give you the first class with all the, the, the steak and the lobster, nigga, the Hennessy, the all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You forget about your flight. Yeah, yeah and I was knocked out. I was that's knocked perfect. out, bro. That's what I need, man. They just need to, if you could smoke on a plane, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I wouldn't give a fuck I'd about the tempted, turbulence. Nigga. I'd, be, I'd be tempted. <laughs> Hold on, you weren't ripping the three hash pens at a time on the plane? I will not say that because I need to take okay, more flights. Okay, my bad. Was <laughs> no, I was not Delta at all. No, I was not. I did not do that. Don't listen to that. I didn't blow shit into my shirt <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, I didn't Man. do nothing. I'm just kidding. Um, so hold on. So you stopped doing story times because you didn't want to get in. Are they no, no, that was just a joke. I stopped doing. Oh. I stopped doing story times like just because three years ago, bro. Just because yeah, like, last one I did was like three years ago, but they want to bring them back. Like hell no, nah, that'd be stupid. Nigga, get indicted. I would really be the first YouTuber to. Why now today? Why get on? Look, I was a starting YouTuber back then. The story time that was popular, but now you think about it, why get on the internet today and tell what the fuck bad shit you used to do? That self snitching at its finest now. Like it doesn't got to be that. It could be about if it's your if it's if it's if it's past the statute of limitation. But not every story about you. crazy is like illegal. Like we're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Your stories that just some random shit you have. The fucking the first fight I ever got in my I life. I did that one. I did that one. You know what I'm saying? I like that's that the kind of shit people. The first house I broke it. into. Oh shit! Now I got yeah. you. I did that one. <laughs> I yeah, you. I did a few of them. And yeah. that one's still up. Yeah. Moment before you broke it, what was that? What were you thinking? Like, I hope they're not home. Nah, what it was, was <laughs> nah, what it was was uh, the homie Mark and my cousin Michael. They just hit a house around the corner, and I was asleep. I was mad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And so um, it was probably like eleven that night. So while these niggas in the garage, we had a big ass like flathead like this, and so we had some females that used to always come to the house. They people was never there. So as soon as they came to the house to smoke with us, I robbed them. You know what I'm saying? Broke in the back window and yeah, that was the first house I hit. I was like <laughs> <laughs> After that we just went stupid. How like we you? hit every house in the neighborhood. How old were you? I was like fourteen. Oh, okay, you were a kid. Yeah. So when you come out and you hit all the houses in the neighborhood and you see the neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Man, I had some crazy stories, but I had I've been smoking since I was a youngin, bro. It was the like, first time you smoked weed? Who introduced you to it? It's like a selection of people. I used to steal it from my mama. Okay. This nigga right here with the black shirt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just a selection of people. But what happened was um, we left school one time. We in the eighth grade, bro. We smoking. We went inside the vacant house. It's me, like three of the homies, like two females, which is fucked up. Now that I think about it, it was cold, but shit, her homegirls left too. You know what I'm saying? So we up in there smoking. You in middle school, ain't nobody older than 13 years old, 12, 13 years old. We in the house smoking. And we smoke with the females, so like, we trying to hit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You up in the vacant house, it's after <laughs> school. Sophia, they know what's up. Like back then, if you ain't getting no pussy at like eight, nine grade, niggas is clowning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real, bro. So we trying to hit, but when they get to the females, they smoking. One of them hit it, 
And bro, she had a seizure. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. We all in the house, so everybody gets scared as fuck. So we just run out that motherfucker. Her homegirls left too, so she on the floor seizing by herself. Probably like 15 minutes later, we're thinking about going back, but we think we're gonna go to jail. We think she dead up in there. So when we leave the house, we run around the corner. We hear the ambulance. We like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? We go back up in there. They got on a stretcher. Oh, that right fuck. there, that's when I stopped smoking with people that, that I will never smoke with nobody and it's their first time smoking. I don't do that rule. shit. It's a good rule. I don't do that shit. That shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. I thought I smoke. I thought everybody else smoked. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that shit like at all. At Damn. all, bro. I was 12 years old. I was 12. <laughs> Yeah, I was fucking <laughs> yeah. fuck, not ready to deal with that shit. At yeah, all. I was twenty years old, bro. So you started smoking I was in the young seven, too. Me yeah, too. I, start, me too. I, was, I was stealing weed from my mama when I started smoking. Uh, my mom used to smoke heavy. You know what I'm saying? And she used to leave her shit up in a little like pink swisher sweet box. I was gonna say it was a box, huh? It was a box. Why do all people? It was a box. I don't know what it is. If you were smoking before two thousand, you have a box and yeah, just and all your in your blunts in there. There ain't no jar. It's there not no like jar. It's just in your, your stem sticks. All that. This one stress we was in like though this. with a lid. This one stress we was in. I started smoking like I started smoking with stress we. I didn't start the dolly like the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? They're lucky. Lucky. Would she have been mad if she found out? You were taking her weed and shit? Yeah, she found out eventually, probably like three, four years ago. I was telling her, because what it was, <laughs> her and her boyfriend used to argue back and forth. My little brother, daddy, like, you smoked it, Laura. You smoked it, Laura. You smoked you it. You started fucking and domestic be problems? And heavy. <laughs> yeah. Me and my cousin, my little homeboy, Kyle, we used to be together all the time, bro. So oh, we used to shit. get on the roof and just smoke that shit up. We had get the, you know, you know the, the writing paper? The part where you write your name at where it ain't got the lines in it? Because we heard that. that's where the ink at. Mm-hmm. So the all white part, we had to tear that shit off, roll the weed up, and now get on the roof. And get on, I wrote newspaper joints before, out of desperation. Man, I did that shit for like a year straight. Same. Or I used to uh, newspaper. Yeah, with ink in it. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> you I still alive? Was in the country, bro. I, you still alive? I know what to do, and they and it's stiffer. I didn't yeah. really know how to roll too good, so it's like yeah, that's yeah. like more like a blunt. Yeah. Ah, it tastes like shit. Mm. Oh, God, <laughs> it tastes like shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I, used to, I mean, what, we all did this shit as a kid. I all did it, bro. We all had to smoke grass, real grass. You never I smoked never real done grass that for real, bro. Nah. You never. <laughs> nah, I never, never, never that smoked that no grass, bro. Nah. <laughs> you niggas just tripping. Y'all niggas they never smoked no grass, bro. Come on, man. Wait, almost all you say, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, all no, them no. niggas said yeah, huh? Yeah, he three, a new age. He never smoked stress three before. Three yeses. He, and no, he, he never smoked stress weed before, so he ain't never. You're lucky. It tastes like <laughs> actual dirt. Yeah, Joe Dirt. Joe Deer Tay, bro. Joe Deer Tay, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right. I love that fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, yo, I got hella OG if you guys want to roll more blunts, too. Because if you don't like smoking uh, Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, take a... No, nah, we uh, on your timing, bro. I'm doing no, what I got you, you doing. Let me get the weed real quick. Okay, I should give this to you. Oh, my, uh, one of our fans out of Buffalo. I'm from Buffalo, but I don't know this kid, but he sent me this. Oh, that's hard. That's Nigga, hard. good looking out. It's hard as fuck. I gotta be honest, man. I forgot what we were talking about before we stopped. Damn. Ah, did you forget? I forgot. You were telling the story about uh, the first break, B and E and shit. Oh, <laughs> the first break and then Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, nah, we was past that. Oh, past uh, that. And then we oh, he late, man. You, no, you that five, was seven least minutes seizure, late, bro. man. I got it. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, we passed that too. Damn, I'm late too. What the fuck are we on right now? Stress weed. Yep. Stress weed. No, smoking grass. grass. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Damn. It may look like it was a bleep, guys. It was about five minutes. I forgot my bad. It was 10 minutes, man. Give him some time. Right. It, was, it was 10 minutes. My bad. <laughs> All right. So, do you smoke hash? Yeah. Yeah? I yeah. like that response. I just, I, just, I just don't fuck with the cookie. I mean, the edibles and all that. Oh, you don't fuck with edibles at all? Yeah, no. Nah. I don't fuck with hybrid off the TV either, bro. Just I just Indica. smoke OGs. Yeah, OGs. That's I got it. this new Skittle cross just because my the weed's gone downhill. The prices are crazy right bro, now. Bro, yeah. It's so cheap right now. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. how much for that? I'll try the weed. It's nothing for a cue. I'll yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, And that's why I'm just trying to smoke it, but I got the OG. I'm, I just can't stay away from I, it. That's it. That's all I smoke I all day. I did because I grew up on that shit. We used to call that shit uh, Doty back in the day. That's what you called it? Doty. You're from out here? Yeah. All right, so you're, I'm from up north, remember, uh, by Fresno, Merced. You know where that's at? No, I don't know where that's um, at. It's like two hours from Sacramento. Two hours? I don't know where that's at. No? 
I just know about like Fairfield and all that shit in between there. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Bakersfield. I'm two and a half hours from Bakersfield. That's okay, right. I, I know. Up. Okay, but it looks like Bakersfield. I'm in the <clears throat> agriculture fucking <throat> meth, and that's about it. You know? And that we <clears throat> damn. You say you did what though? I'm saying uh, that's where I grew up at. So all we had yeah. was uh, cookies, like when cookies and all the super fire. Hey, now hold on, not to cut you off. Now that you no. um, mentioned Bakersfield, yeah. Shout out to the Bakersfield rappers out there. They be doing their thing, bro. I think that's one of the cities that just overlooked all the time. And it's a lot of talent out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I Even lived I out there. Know. I lived out there for a minute. And it's a lot of talent. And, and, and niggas going to catch on soon. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the rappers up in Bakersfield. Yeah. Good shit. How long you, How long you live there? For a couple of years. Like three years. Damn, dude. That's crazy. You live yeah. in Bakersfield. Big. I mean, I love the Valley, I love California, but Bakersfield's just like my town. Yeah, there Bakersfield. To do, bro. It ain't nothing to do. A lot of drugs, and that's about it. It's a lot of drugs. It's a fire weed out there, too. It's a fire. It's, a, it's, it's all, a fire it's only good thing about my town. Nigga. I'm telling you. It's, it's between a, LA and, and the Bay. Yeah, so yeah. where all the stops are. Mm -hmm. So it's like when people want to dump off some packs before they get to LA, that's where they do it at. Bakersfield is, is underrated on a lot of shit, bro. It is. It is. It's. I mean, it's underrated on a lot of Vegas, shit. Vegas, L.A. That's the that's the last spot. That's the hub. Yeah. You know, that's dope right there. That's the hub. Yeah. All right. So the reason I was asking the story times, and the reason you stopped doing the story times, um, <coughs> if you had to do new ones <coughs> right now, if you were like, "Yo, let's film," and I got forty fools out here to do production right now, what would you what would you do right now if you had to pick one story to tell that wouldn't get your ass in trouble? Like, what could you tell from your experience of a, you being a YouTube? Like, what story time I do right now? If you had to choose one, because this is a question I know a fan would be like, "Yo, how'd you not ask?" My son finna be twelve on Friday. 12. My oldest son, oh. and when I got autism, and that nigga just starts uh, talking for the first time. <clears throat> he's, he's like three weeks ago. Wow. Holy so, shit! So yeah, I do that story time because that shit was dope the whole day. You know what I'm saying? It was as soon as I got back from Hawaii. I do that one. That'd be like a forty minute story time. Wow. I'm not getting indicted over that one. You know what I'm saying? It's it's dope. It was overwhelming. No, you know was what I'm saying? Expected or was it unexpected? Nah, they told me you never talk. He non verbal at all. Not verbal at all. It just happened? It just happened. Wow. Wow. Damn that shit. So I do that one. God. Nah, that shit made me bit. cry, nigga, yeah, for like so two that shit days got in a row. Bit. Damn. Yeah, I feel, I feel it in That's my crazy. stomach right now. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was dope. My baby mama's still crying. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. and it's crazy. As soon as he talked, he knew our name. He knew the dog's name. You know, I say, sit down. I want to eat. I want to everything. It was all just right there. He just couldn't get it out. Yeah, everything. Just one day. One day. One day. Wow. Yeah. That's like a movie. Yeah, I was saying that shit was fucking. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. And this is recent. This is recent. It's recently on. Wow, he's about to be 12 years old. Yeah, up on Friday, August 6. I mean Saturday, August 6. When it has to do with your kid, it weighs. It makes you so psychotically crazy when they're going through something. Like mm -hmm. my son just went through surgery, <clears throat> big time surgery. It's like I can't, and something like that. It's like I just I commend parents that yeah. day in and day out. And it's like, just a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? That you got to go through it. They telling you something wrong with your son. You swearing up and down. It's not. It's hard to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? It just come with the facts, like. I got a disabled son, like all that shit heavy. It's more school, special ed classes, meetings, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of shit, counseling. Him you know, trying to scream for shit, can't get it out, like that shit heavy, bro. That's another reason why I say YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Cause <clears throat> if I wasn't able to get no money, I wouldn't be able to like, to sit at home and get the money. You wouldn't be there for him. Exactly. Exactly. I love YouTube. I love the nigga that created YouTube, the owner or whoever that is, bro. For real, that shit changed my life. For real. In a whole different way, too. Yeah. Damn, man. I'm fucking very happy to hear that. Even if Me it's too. just that one, that one day, like, you got it. That one day. That shit happened, like, at 1.30 in the afternoon. You know? You know? He started talking to my son. I got a younger son. He's eight years old. My son, DJ. DJ came to the house like Stefan just said, um, go give me something to drink or something like that. But yeah. And but they went upstairs. I was in the room kicking it. They went upstairs to tell their mama. And so then she came and told me, I'm like, what? You came up here? 
She was like, say, what's up, dad? He was like, what's up, dad? Bro, I broke down, nigga. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Wow. Did you, were you able to speak to him, though? Like, ask my yeah. what's up? What's, how, how, talk to me, man. He, was, he just kept smiling. Every time we asked him why he wasn't talking, he just be, he had smile or he said he don't know. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. That's an amazing sign, <clears throat> bro. That's amazing. That's feeling. amazing. And that was the man. only thing that kept him out of, um, <clears throat> that had a men's special lid. Because you know what, autistic kids, they make like these little gestures yeah, and they yeah. hum and do all this shit. And yeah, I did a uh, pals, pals is, uh for disabled kids. I did it for like six years for yeah, school. Yeah. So yeah, like every spectrum you could think of. There's there's verbal people. There's people who are like, why is this kid in the class? But, oh, no, no, I now understand. Learning yeah. super bad. Learning experience. Sometimes it's a learning disability. Sometimes it's a verbal thing or a physical thing where they can't control their body and stuff. But I never heard of like a spurt of, a spurt of clarity like that. That's amazing. Yeah. That's great, man. Yeah, that shit crazy, bro. Well, that shit crazy. Day, yeah. So you have two, you, you have two babies? Yeah. Nice, Thomas has been with this girl for about damn near 20 years. and then He said what? He out. did what? <laughs> They said I've been with my, my fiance for like almost 11 years. You ain't got no kids? Uh, Why not? You don't want to? Uh, I'm not ready, man. Because I know as soon as I want to, like you, like I could be there all day. I didn't plan my kids, though. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. should just happen. Oh, same, same, with, him, <coughs> same with him. How many you got? got? Three. <coughs> Three? <coughs> yeah, I got a 14. 14 now. Oh, yeah? yeah. How old are you? <coughs> 35. Oh yeah, you've been fucking for a long time. You got the yeah, yeah, you just started with a long time. <laughs> I love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, how many kids you got? Oh, you've been fucking for a long time. It's I fucked up because like my daughter's friends and shit, and yeah. their older siblings are all fans of the podcast now, all blowing me up and shit. It's fucking funny. Mm -hmm. No, especially you have you know, I mean, I, so for me for the kids, man. My mom had my sister at fifteen, me at seventeen. I saw my mom go through the shit. Right. You know, my dad drug addict, my mom was drug addict too. Yeah, she always like, crazy. You know what I mean? I don't know how you grew up, but like going to school and like, yeah. no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I ate before I got here. Don't yeah, trip. I'm, but I'm fucking starving. Yeah, I've been through all that. Been through all that. Not like, asking for shoes, school clothes, oh, not, not tripping, not crying on Christmas. I've been through all that. You know what's up, right? You know what's so, up. I grew up in a house my whole life. I never had my, room, uh, my own room. It was one of us in a seven bedroom house. You know what I'm saying? It was one of you us. You grew up in South Central. Right. Right. You mean seven of you in one bedroom? Seven of us. Yeah, seven of us in one bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. No, so we had a two bedroom. Yeah. I'm always out of 10. My daddy got three. Oh, and it wow. was just, yeah, it was just, they didn't stay with us though. I was the, like, the seven was my mama. And it was just one room, bro. Yeah, so that, that's yeah. why, because I wasn't ready. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't start making money till recently. I wasn't ready. Like, I don't want my kid to go, yo, don't worry. We can't make this volcano, motherfucker. Yeah. Because that was me, but like, yo, we got to make a volcano. But I don't want to ask my mom, put her through that shit, because I know she don't got that fucking. That's why I don't have kids. Right. Because I, I just don't want that. I want right. to be like, I want to be those older people. Like, you waited till you're 40? What the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I, I did. supposed to do it. I did. Like yeah. During college. Like, that, that's all. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in, in reality, you're just really approaching the age that you should be to like, be having kids and shit. You're doing it. Uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm trying. You good? You good? <coughs> yeah, I'm straight. Hey, you got Papers. some water right there. Yeah. <coughs> I'm straight. All right. Uh, what, what what time is it? I know you, I know you got a flight. Yeah, we got like two minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, we got like two minutes. So, can I, let me real quick. If we're talking top fives, current what rappers. What kind of watch is that? It's a day just. Oh, that's it. Or yeah, right. 41, Oyster Perpetual, Stanley Steel. Exactly yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Right. Yeah, that's that's exactly. Right. I'm a watch type right of nigga. Here. I told you yeah. that, bro. Yeah, what's yeah, up? He, he gifted it to me on the show about what? 15, 20 yeah. episodes back. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. how you take care of your boys, huh? <laughs> I don't like, he's supposed I, to. I don't really do jewelry, but yeah. I know he would rock that Yeah, shit. yeah, he's supposed to, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, this is a team right here, man. That's what's top, up. Top five all time. Rappers? Yeah. Nipsey, Young Thug. Lloyd Banks, mm. oh, Rick right. Ross in the game. That's my top five. Rick Ross in the top five? Yeah, Nipsey, Lloyd Banks, Young Thug, Rick Ross in game. I ain't never, yeah, that's, we, okay. we, we usually ask this when we talk about people that are into music heavy. It always been my top five. People usually take a while to think about <coughs> it too, here already. Yeah, you already no, had that's it all, down. That's always been my top five. Now, if you were to put out like a, 
I don't know what the version, modern day version, the double XL freshman. The double XL, not even a double XL. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put out, I'm gonna put out one of the dopest compilation albums. That's some DJ drama shit. Yes, thank with you. All these niggas' favorite rappers that they like today, from the NLE Choppers, the Polo G's, and all it. Yeah, we finna do that. Good thank you. shit. Thank you. We finna That's do that. I'm gonna pick all yeah, the beats. Yeah. I'm gonna pick all the rappers. Curate Probably do like a 12 shit. song uh, EP. Host it. Yeah. Like a fucking mixtape. Yeah. 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 Like your Noriega one. Yeah, that's already in yeah. the works. That's already in the works. Let's go. Yeah. That's some good shit. It's just something for people to fucking do, man. Right. People want to be then, sparked by something. What about DJ uh. Go's music, Spotify, Apple Music? That's already on there. You can go yeah. there right now. It's on there. No, like, I'm going to drop a record on my birthday. When's your birthday? September 24th. September 6th. Oh, yeah. That's my little brother birthday. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's I'm my little brother birthday. Thing. August 25th, I'm dropping my first. August 25th? Project in about eight years. Recorded at Nipsey Studio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but shit drops this. Well, Smack them. Next yeah. month. August next 25th, month. Birthday, yeah. yeah. It's funny you say that. That's hard. <laughs> it's about to be sick. That's hard. I only heard like two, but the one yeah. I heard, I'm That's like. Hard. <laughs> That's hard. Marty. That's For real? That's all. Yo, uh, I know you got a flight. Where can everybody support you at? Where can everybody find? Because you? you got a lot. Everything of DJ goes, bro. DJ goes. Just everything DJ goes. You got you a know website. What I'm saying? Uh, 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 what's that? TikTok. One thing about TikTok, you get paid on TikTok. I heard about that, bro. One thing, oh, I, I don't have a TikTok, but I got over a billion views over there. Right? People using your shit. I do not have a TikTok. Everybody keep asking me. That's not my TikTok. I ain't got one. But everything DJ goes. I ain't got no Twitter either. You can't add me. You know what I'm saying? So. Instagram, YouTube, it. Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Twitch, Discord. Twitch, Discord. There you go. Apple appreciate you, bro. Yeah, I would have appreciate, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate we'll you. pop it up on the Patreon, screen. Patreon, all that. Shit. Yeah. And remember, you can't get no fucking merch till about September. So yeah, like right. September. <laughs> like, yeah. In the end of August, beginning of September. You know what I'm saying? I go got buy y'all. Shit. Some honest and if y'all right, send it, <clears throat> if you order something now, that's, you ain't going to get it till then. I'm telling you now, bro. Because I promise you, after this, I'm going to get like 100 and they're going to just sit there. I'm telling you, I'm not sending that shit. So, you know, get your refund or whatever. Oh, I, I go through PayPal, so they don't be tripping. You can get your refund yeah. back, but I'm not sending nothing until after like yeah. August 20th or something and it's like so that. It's so dope to hear that you yeah. do all your own Love shit. That. Yeah, all yeah. that's in house. Yeah, that's, your, that's you. And all this I'm doing, I, gotta, I just left Cool Kicks, bro. So, you I'm about to go to shoes? Dallas. I'm about to go to Dallas. No, I did the whole little. Oh, the shoe shopping? Yeah. That's what I you were doing? Left there. Yeah. I thought you meant when you text me, I'm like, oh, he's just he's buying some shoes. Nah, I did shit. the whole little episode. Bro, nah, you know what I'm saying? I won't, I won't ask on camera in case it comes out. I was like, what you get? <laughs> <laughs> they out there in the SUV. You know what I'm saying? The shoes in the SUV. Good shit. But yeah. All right, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate I you, bro. Role. Thank you for being here, man. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Coming. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back for yeah, sure. Yeah, first interview sure. ever. First interview ever. Dope appreciate Yola it. Podcast. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for hey, being yeah, here. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Dope Yola Squad, Ghost Gang, and all that, man. I love y'all. Marty? So, thank you for coming, man. We know this was the first one. We, yeah. we appreciate it. And we appreciate it. it. And next time. tight little community we have. Next here. time you're going to have some Fronto leaves. No, I don't fuck with back. Oh, wait. He has some Fronto leaves. The the big. The new leaf oh, that, that you're making leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah I need like that those. Yeah. The liquor store. Yeah, I need those. All I need right, those. all right. I got a homie that fucks with that heavy, so I got you. You ever work right, with sure. Broad Brother Leaf? No, I don't know what that is. I'll find those for you, too. Everybody just says it's the best I shit. I know you're going to hook me up next time. I Your whole you. setup is dope, bro. This is the dopest thing I've seen Appreciate ever it. when it comes to Fuck podcasts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ever. We you know did it saying? We did it with our homies, so appreciate yeah. that. All Thank right, you, dude. Thank you. All right, guys, this has been the DJ Ghost Podcast for Marty and I. Have a dope ass day. 100. Yeah. Let's go. Good there. shit. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate it. Damn, I got a fat joint too to smoke right now. I'm all right. <laughs>